Just want to talk to you guys real quick. I made a mistake. Last night, we were leaving church, and I wanted to make a left to go to Wendy's after church. My wife said, nope, let's make a right. Now, the left would have got us closer to the Wendy's that was to our house. Just got my car waxed, washed, vacuumed, didn't want the kids eating Wendy's or having Frosties in the back seat. So I figured we'd go pick it up closer to the house. we go home. we have it. We haven't had any dinner. That makes sense to me. She wanted to go right. She was like, no, we got to go right. We're closer to the, the, the Wendy's here. Now, mind you, prior to this event, probably a day or so earlier, we had had an argument over something completely different, but it was unresolved. She had expressed some things. I didn't fully express what I, what, what I meant. Man, we got to be able to communicate. And I use my, my, my life as a real example. We got to be able to communicate our feelings as soon as we can with our spouses, with our girlfriends, with those who we love and not bottle those things in because then they bubble over and, and go into other things. And, and, and even me talking about these things, you know, I still slip up from time to time. So I like to come on here and use this as an, as an example. Guys, we got to do better. We got to be able, men, we got to be able to do better to communicate how we feel with our wives. I hadn't fully communicated how she made me feel during the last couple of days. So now here we are literally pulling out of a church parking lot. I say, I'm going to go left. She's like, no, let's go right. It sets me off. I'm upset because I feel like she's trying to control the situation. I feel like this is another complaint that she has of me. Another thing that I'm not doing right. Here we are. I can't even make, make the right turn to go get some fast food for my family, which we shouldn't even be eating in the first place, but we're going to we're going to Wendy's to get something for the kids. And I internalize it to something completely different. This is why we can't let things stew for too long. We can't let our emotions bubble over. We gotta be able to communicate as soon as fast as we possibly can to alleviate these things going forward. So long story short, we end up getting to a Wendy's. But now my wife is thinking that we're going to the Wendy's closer to the house. So she's wondering why we're pulling into this Wendy's. I turn the car real quick to go into the Wendy's. I'm like, no, we're going into this one. This is the one that I thought we agreed upon. She said, no, we didn't agree upon this. What are you talking about? So then she goes from that to not talking to me. So now I turn to her and I say, hey, why are you giving me the silent treatment? She's just being silent. Now I'm getting more mad. So we end up, we're halfway into the drive through halfway out of the drive through Car comes around me. They're wondering what's going on. They're looking at me all funny. I'm getting more frustrated and embarrassed the whole situation. So now I just pull out of the parking lot. Say, forget it. Nobody gets Wendy's. All of, all of that behind just a miscommunication. Okay. Which we had to resolve uh, actually earlier this morning. We had to get that resolved and, and talk about. Well, what's the real what's the, what's the real issue here? And it was just not communicating properly. All right, I'm sorry, my phone's starting to mess up. Um, I think I'm losing space, but we're gonna keep on continue. We're gonna keep going. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, you know, I'm not even gonna edit that out because when I flow, I gotta be able to to, to flow. Where there is miscommunication there will always be more and more hidden anger, hidden hostility that will build and eventually explode in random situations that don't even make sense for you to get upset about. Random situations. This is why we have to communicate as soon as we can to get out our emotions. And we have to remember that it's not about attacking the person. All right, we got to attack the situation and come up with a solution. So it's not, why did you do this? I can't believe you did it to me again. Why you do the same thing all the time? It has to be, this situation made me feel, when this happened, this made me feel like this. How can we avoid going down this road again? How come, but this is why you have to be calm, right? Because in a moment, you, in a moment, if you're like me, you're not going to be calm. You're like, oh, you did this, you did that, can't believe you did that. And then she comes back, oh, well, you do this to me, you do that to me. And you go back and forth because now each person is on a defensive, all right? When really you guys are on the same team, right? I'm putting my hands together on the same team together. You guys are on the same team. So if you need a minute, you need 30 minutes, you need an hour, cool down. But then you got you to gotta address it as soon as you possibly can. You don't let things stew for, for a very long period of time. You got to come back to it when you can calmly approach the situation and say, hey, when this happened earlier, you made me feel like I couldn't do anything right. 
or that's probably even the wrong approach. When this happened earlier, I felt like I couldn't do anything right. And I'm trying to do my best to be there for you. I'm trying to do my best to really appease you and to make you happy. What can we do so that way we don't fall into the same argument again? As opposed to attacking the person and going the route of you made me feel like this. And that's how you alleviate and, and get to the solution a lot faster. And that's how you get in and out of arguments. Arguments are going to happen. That's a part of a relationship. I think differently than my wife. I'm like, this is the fastest way. She's like, no, but we're closest to this one. I'm thinking about the car. She's not thinking about the car. She's thinking about, let's, let's, let's be able to get the food to the kids the fastest. And how can we do that, right? Two different ways of thinking. Two different ways of, of, of trying to manage the situation. Didn't manage the previous situation in the correct way. Bubbles over again. Boom, here we are. Arguments happen. They're going to happen. Disagreements are going to happen. But you got to be able to approach it in a cool, calm, collective way. And the more you practice focuses on the situation and not immediately attacking the person and what they did, the easier it becomes. Now, we fell into the trap of we let it stew overnight. We let it stew throughout the week. We let it stew overnight. And this morning, we had to come to, to a solution to a um, resolution between the two of us on how we're going to communicate better in situations like these. Now, that we could have did that earlier, and we have done it in the past earlier, but again, sometimes your emotions get the best of you. So I just want to leave that with you. We have to communicate better with our spouses and we can do so by looking at the situation and not immediately going after the person, but also communicating quickly. All right, take care.